I, I, I got some not great news last week. Yeah. Uh, which we don't have to talk about for long because I don't want to ruin the vibe because it is the holiday show. Um, yeah, we found out last Thursday that they have breast cancer. Uh, which, as you all know, is exactly what I did not need for Christmas this year. Um, but I'm starting treatment on Thursday before I visit my family for Christmas, and my prognosis is excellent. They expect me to come through it, so... Yeah, they got it early enough, so that's... Yeah. That, it's... So, you know, it's going to suck, and hopefully I can keep my hair, but if not, I might look really weird on the show for a while. Oh, the f- fanta- we will do some fantastic wig. Nine! Yeah. I mean, the good news is I work in a hair salon. There you go. So... They were like, look, if, if you do lose your hair, like, we can make your wigs look amazing. Um, I expect so, a mohawk at some point, say. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just try and have a really nice Christmas. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do one treatment before I go away so they, because they don't want to leave it. Because the, the type I have is pretty fast growing. Uh, so I don't want to just do nothing for like three weeks. So I'm yeah. going to have one treatment before I go visit my family for Christmas. And then once I'm back, I'm going to really dive in. They expect me to be in chemo until like May. At some point in there, there will be surgery. Um, but hopefully by like late summer, this will be a bed. We might have to have some uh, some guests hop in to help out, depending on how this chemo is not Nine. fun. So we'll have to just make yeah. care. So, they do expect me to be able to keep working and everything, but there might be weeks when I just feel crummy or whatever. So, so to be aware of that, we'll uh, we'll we'll make do. Oh, hopefully, the audience will understand. If you're if you don't, nine right off. I mean, agreed. You know, nine, nine, nine. Bye. Into it. You know what makes me mad about the whole thing? What? I mean, there's several things that make oh, me mad about yes. the whole thing. Yeah. But one of the things that makes me mad is I really Ooh-la-la. love pink. You know this about me. Yeah. I dyed my hair pink. Yeah. And now it's going to look like my organic love of pink is me being one of those people that's trying to make my illness my whole Nine. personality. Oh, my. And I'm not. Yeah. I just really Nine. like pink. And now people are going to be like, wow, you're really into the breast cancer thing. No. Just like pink. And that's not fair. All right. Well, let's try and distract the horrible Nine. with different horrible. Nine. Like I, I say, it's so weird. We keep coming back. This is the relaxing part. This is the easy part. Right? Yeah. Compared to the day to day, this is like, oh, this is a breeze. This is so much. I've said it before. It's weirdly comforting to know that there will always just be stupid people until you think about the fact that they get to vote and drive. Should I step down from radio.air? I will abide the results of this poll. They'll be like, yes, give the show to Greedy. The most divorced man in the world. The most oh divorced. God. And uh, by the way, spoiler alert, he's definitely not going to abide by the results of the poll because he got crushed. He'll do whatever the fuck he's going to do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick to death of trying to second guess. All you know, he is less secure than a wet paper Ooh-la-la. bag. Anyway, now we got that done, let's... Where's the Nine. goat? Where's the goat? La la. Damn. Let's get the intro going first. And we can look in on the Nine. damn goat. Who's got the goat? It's got my Nine. damn intro. Where the Nine. is it? Come on now. Ain't nobody got time for this. Um, here we go. All right, ready? Let's go. Each week, Gathering the radio dead air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You. But first, I'm crazy. As is our want here in the uh, maze 
these dark, dark years. We wait, we wait, we, we, we wait for the signal fires of Gondor or whatever the fuck. That would be the gavel. Well, it was Rohan that was based on, like, the Viking. So really, you're waiting for the beacons of Rohan. Well, did you just well actually my ass? I did. did you just well. Tear. Okay. Right. But it's true, they based Rohan on the Vikings. So let's let's look in no, on, no. Let's look in on the Avla Goat. If you are new here, how the fuck did you get here? But if you're new here, um each year Sweden puts up this gigantic stuffed goat for the holidays. And one of two things happens. Either it survives or someone burns it the fuck down uh, so far it is still there you sent stuff to they sell like a stuffed animal version of this goat they they there is a web shop there because they should and i want one there is you just had to go to the the main website there it is for stuff okay. yeah stuff stuff goat. I will only prove this if you're going to burn the damn thing down. Okay. I'm going to buy 12 and burn one at one a month for the next year. <laughs> On the first day of every month, I'm going to burn a go. So we have two weeks left to get rid of this goddamn thing. Hopefully, we'll get there. All right. Um, now on to our regular non-goat-related stupid shit. Here. That, that's the wrong one. There's one. Where? What have you done to me? Where's my other page? Is it close? Ah, uh, great. Future, future me is like you're gonna. Have to, I'm gonna have to edit the shit out. I'm like, yeah. But it's future you's problem. Future me hates. Me. I am the queen of fucking over tomorrow, Tara. Uh, I'm always like, that's tomorrow, Tara's problem, and then tomorrow, Tara becomes today, pro Tara, and I hate myself. We had a. I, I'm behind on so much tonight because we had Sarah had a work function uh, over at the Humane Society, which was really cool. Um, they, you know, uh, had like a little dinner and stuff for us. Uh, it set me back a little bit, so I am flailing about right now trying to get caught up. I could have a second window open. In my in my years working in cat rescue, I have found that like holiday parties with animal rescue people are fascinating. One, because people who work in animal rescue, and I'm not saying this to my own horn, are truly wonderful people, yeah. you know? But we also tend to be people that like animals more than other people. Yes. I don't even work there, and I agree with you. And better, you know, and like, are better at interacting with animals than other people. So you put a bunch of people like that in a room yeah. for like, Holiday fun, and we're all just like. We had live jazz. Ooh. No, 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 ooh. It was live smooth jazz. Like a, okay. a rendition of Marvelous Night for a Moonbeam with sax in place of vocals. Like the Van Morrison song? Yes, the Van Morrison song. You know, Van Morrison kind of deserves that at this point, though. <laughs> and that's a bummer because I do like that song. But also, fuck him. They should use that all his shit. I know we're 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 getting off uh, the subject right now, but uh, have you seen our, our horde of porch kitties now? Because it's getting like stupid cold around here, so we're bringing them in at night. It's gonna be in the. I mean, you saw my video about the. I sent you the video about the cat distribution system. Yes. So the universe has distributed. Three new cats to you. Yeah, and one of them, it's a smelly little son of a bitch. Oh, is he a sprayer? Yeah. We need to get him fixed. The floofy guy I just took to my shelter was a sprayer, and my garage kind of still smells. Because he spent the night in there. I've I've blown through half a can of Lysol already. Those those neutered fellas. We we're, we're gonna we're gonna take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sarah mainly are waiting for the, the end of the holidays because everything's crazy right now. So, anyway. 
All right. Let's get to the... Um... This is like pre naughty list. This is like per like you know what? You're just giving up, and I'm going on the naughty list. Fuck it. Like like it's like somebody's taking a shortcut with this one. Um, from Ohio. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thief steals baby Jesus. Opens new front in war on Christmas. And you're sitting there going, "Well, how? Let me get to it." French ransacked at a nativity scene, stealing a baby Jesus figurine and other religious items, which were replaced with a, quote, tombstone-shaped Halloween decoration with the word R.I.P. written on the front. Resident of South Euclid, a Cleveland suburb, contacted police Friday night to report that a thief had targeted the nativity scene in his front yard, Along with stealing baby Jesus, the perp swiped cow, donkey, and lamb figurines. Victim John Carlo, 39, told police he found the R.I.P. tombstone where the figurines had been. Police are investigating the December 2nd crash incursion. Okay, but is this not literally the plot of Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> What's like, this? is that What's not this? literally the plot of that movie? Yeah, yeah it's this is all of Jack Skellington's being kind of a son of a bitch right now. Like, we all know, look, I was married to an elder goth. I have nothing against the goth community, <laughs> but we all know they can't be Santa. Okay. <laughs> uh, you say that. Have you seen Violet Night yet? Holy shit. I have not. You've got But it. I have heard good things. It's like it's 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 David Harbour has got like like dad vibes and like Thor vibes and Santa vibes. They're all sort of wrapped together. It's freaking amazing. I don't know if I want to see Santa like murder John Lake Wazamo though. I like him. Well I'm And he's the bad guy, so I'm, I assume I'm, he doesn't come out okay. I'm not gonna spoil it. Don't spoil it. You should yeah. you should see it. It's amazing. All right. Uh, moving on. Support. Fucking around with Christmas. It's kind of amazing as this one's going to come out on the 25th. So this is going to come out Christmas morning. We're going to have Christmas stories. Um, The first one will get you on the naughty list. This one will get you fucking whacked. Robert De Niro's Upper East Side townhouse burglarized while after at home. A woman broke into Robert De Niro's Upper East Side townhouse early Monday morning and began bagging up Christmas presents under the tree. <laughs> no. Police arrested 30-year-old Shanice Aveles on uh, burglary charges after she was spotted entering De Niro's East uh, 65th Street. Aveles has 26 prior arrests, including 16 for burglary and petty larceny. She's described as one of uh, New York uh, Police Department's most prolific recidivist burglars. Officer spotted her in the area. You like a little badge for that? Right? You get like a little chip burner. Um, it's been arrested several times already and started following her. I saw her try a few doors before she slipped around a corner. Officers followed her and noticed the door to a townhouse was open. When she did not come out, police entered and saw her taking items and putting them into a bag. Police did not know it was in Nero's house until after the commotion. No interaction between the actor and the thief. She's lucky. So, but like, did the cops interact with him? I had they, they just had to. His fucking mouth? They, well, they, they saw the door open. They were following a suspect. So, yeah, they just walked on in. And she's under the tree doing a Grinch impression. Like, what? you don't steal from De Niro. I mean, did she know it was De Niro's house? Well, it doesn't matter, okay? Yeah. Because, you know, it's De Niro is probably like, oh, I'm, oh I understand. He's probably yeah, super he's cool. Like, he's like 150 now. Honestly, what's he going to do to you? But you know, like like, like how Snyder bros are to Snyder? Yeah. Um, De, Niro ha De Niro has that only, they're the mafia. True, true. And... Whereas the Snyder Bros don't really need to be afraid of them. They're they're 
sort of part. The mafia will kill you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's fandoms and there's fandoms. You you don't you don't fuck with De Niro. But like, don't you want to know what De Niro gets for Christmas? What do you get, Robert De Niro? Right. When he's already got a comb. Besides, like a giant wheel of Parmesan, I guess. I don't. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to sit there like, how do you shop for Robert fucking De Niro? Real doll of Joe Pesci? <laughs> that he can just have him with him all the time? Not for anything gross, just to like have him there. <laughs> Go get your shine box. What? <laughs> oh my god, just don't do this shit. Okay. I'm torn on it because on the one hand, like maybe you needed those gifts. But also it's not great to fuck over someone else's Christmas. So fuck with Christmas. No. <laughs> Moving right on to our next story, considering fucking Christmas. This is a terrible time for deliveries because everything is moving at the speed of nope. And uh, so... My contact lenses are on back order. So the, you earn a special little place in Christmas hell when you get in the way of delivery. And this definitely gets in the way of fucking... Look at this fucking mugshot on this motherfucker. He's arguing with them while they're taking the mugshot. I swear to God, I thought for a second it was Alex Jones. I swear to God. I swear to God, I thought it was Alex Jones. No, he's literally like, yes. well, actually, the cops. Yes. While they're taking his mugshot. Man arrested after allegedly stealing and crashing an Amazon truck in New Hampshire. Uh, Amazon truck stolen in Manchester, New Hampshire, ended up in the town of Derry after a suspect pushed out its driver, and crashed it miles away before being arrested. Uh, Sean uh, Cadieu, 38, facing a Class A felony charge of theft by unauthorized... I love how some, how some of these laws are phrased. Theft by unauthorized taking. And the, Isn't that what theft is? Really? Yeah, it's just... That's called theft. Unauthorized. It's murder by killing. <laughs> Uh, the press release department said officers responded. They were first flagged down by an Amazon delivery driver. They certainly soon learned from the driver that while heading to the intersection of Wilson and Auburn Street, Victor encountered a man acting radically who then jumped into the passenger side of the truck. I just want you to be picture you're in an Amazon truck driving along and just out of nowhere, motherfucker hops in like, how you doing? Where are we going? Need me help you with those? It's fine. Um, moving for a short time, the driver said he pulled over to a parking lot. The suspect, later identified as Kadu, pushed him out and then drove away. Made his way to Derry before crashing the truck and then allegedly stole another vehicle before being arrested in Hollis. So this was a tri-county like crime spree. This one dude. Authority say That's not what the song Christmas in Hollis is about. <laughs> If you listen to the song, yeah, they find Santa's wallet and they mail it back because that's the right thing to do. It may be facing charges in other jurisdictions as the felony was charged with so far only stems from the incident in Manchester. Dude, and just the look on his face is like, no, 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 hold on. Oh, there's some bleary eyes going on there. I feel there are some substances involved here. They don't say this may just be like mediocre white dude confidence. So if you were expecting to get your kid like, you know, a fucking Nintendo this year, it's gonna be a little late. Cause this fucking guy. Where and like, what are the odds that Amazon employees still got in trouble for all those deliveries not getting oh, done? Yes. Oh yeah. Fuck because you know, welcome to the hellscape. Yeah. Ah, let's go have less holiday ish. I mean, I'm trying to struggle to make holidays about pizza, but you know, it's that's kind of 
a little bit of a stretch there. I've had pizza before, but that's, that's a little bit of a... I mean, if it was Thanksgiving, there would be that movie. Yeah. About the time-traveling turkeys. Um, Jesus, this is just... Fucking... I don't understand how this was supposed to go in their head. Let's, let's get the story and I'll, we'll get into it. Man upset about pizza orders, uh, about pizza order fire shots in argument with manager. Stroudsburg man was jailed on attempted homicide and related charges after allegedly firing a shot from a handgun during a confrontation over a fast food order. He's okay. He's attempted. He did, did actually, no injuries actually. When we get to that, you'll be like, motherfucker. Um, Stroud area regional police say they were called the incident. Friday at Little Caesars Pizza on Washington Street. Come on now. <laughs> what? You didn't shoot somebody over shitty pizza. It- right? I don't think you should shoot people over pizza at all. But if you're going to, Little fucking Caesar, It's a $6 pizza. It's- that they keep under a heat lamp all day. That's their brand. Right? That it's not fresh. Right? I mean, the, the, the crazy bread. That's, don't get me wrong, crazy bread's good, but it's a $6 fucking pizza. You know why they don't have pizza? Jail. Yes, Rolling Redneck. Every jail's like, wait, Little Caesars? Uh, the pizzeria's adult male manager and two juvenile employees were inside the business, and the suspect, identified as 37-year-old William T. Paben, uh, was in the rear parking lot when he was taken into custody. From interviews and reviews of interior and exterior surveillance video, Tech determined payment who had called the business twice to complain about not receiving his order. He was argumentative and asked for the business address and when provided, uh, he allegedly then showed up, entered the business, and began arguing with the manager. At some point, he removed a handgun from his jacket park pocket while continuing to or argue about not receiving the order and approached the manager to gain access to the area behind the counter. The manager met him at the access point between the employees and the customer area. And Paven fired the firearm, pointed the firearm towards the manager's lower bo- body and fired one round from the gun. The round struck the manager's shoe, causing damage to his shoe, but missed his foot. You lucky motherfucker. Wow. He then continued to yell at the manager and invited him to outside to fight. This is why I'm saying, what was the sequence of events that you were predicting in your brain? What did you think was going to happen here? If I defeat him in honorable combat, he will have to give me my pizza. Motherfucker, this ain't Conan. You you ain't no Arnold goddamn Schwarzenegger. What the fuck is this not? Do he see his women drive before him? In lamentation of his women. I worked at Starbucks. I had a coworker who literally, someone at the handoff plane asked for extra caramel. If you go to Starbucks, don't do that. Or your extra caramel when you drink because it costs 60 cents. Or it did when I worked there. It might be more now. If you were at the handoff plane, we'll, we'll do it. But then, you know, the, I shouldn't say, wait, I don't work there anymore. But he was like, yeah, I'll do it this time. Next time we're going to have to charge you the cents. And this guy starts screaming at him and saying he's going to be waiting for him in the parking lot after we close. Over being told he would have to pay six cents next time. Wait, did you just stop developing at 12? What the fuck? Like, did you fucking, okay, what was going to happen? You were going to throw down and that would be the end of it. And they'd be like, I understand what I did wrong. I lost and I accept my I accept my punishment. Here, I will you are now in the lord of the pizza. You can have yeah. the pizza, lad. You here are the you have to do the pizza in combat and therefore you get shitty pizza for life. Right? That's not No, any anything that follows here is jail. Every direction. It's like, you know, like seeing branching timelines. It's like everything everywhere all at once. Every single option after there, jail, 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 jail. You don't get like the, the sep- you don't get like the hot dog hands one. It's all jail. It's all jail. <laughs> you should get the hot dog hands. You should. That was that was that was 
strangely poignant. What the fuck was that? Weird ass movie. That was a great movie. It was a great. <laughs> I haven't watched it again since I saw it in the theater because I'm not trying to cry. So it was a good movie. Rakakuni. Anyway, um, <laughs> just the, the, this is not like he's felony charges of attempted homicide. When you shoot at somebody, even if you don't hurt them, you've tried to kill them. Um, yep. aggravated assault, two counts, terroristic threats, discharge of a firearm to occupied, occupied structure, um, firearms not to be carried without a license, misdemeanor simple assault, reckless endangerment. Holy shit. He also had fucking brass knuckles on him. I don't know if you know this, but brass knuckles are so fucking illegal in some places. Way more than yeah. guns to some degree. Which is absurd, by the way. But yeah, they're like super fucking illegal. I, Look, I've been hangry. I have. I've been, I, I've, I have said and done things I regretted when I was hangry. None of that ever involves shooting a fucking gun at somebody. They're shit. Like, he's, you were so lucky you didn't actually hit the motherfucker. Well, it's just shoot him in the foot. Man, it doesn't matter where you shoot somebody. Blood all come. We are bags of this red juice. And if it all comes out, it's like, you know, when you have a Capri Sun and it gets all flat. And it, yeah, it's the same thing with people, except dead. Okay. We are just like fleshy Capri we're Suns. So we, 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 weird. Weird. Yeah. Juice bag. <laughs> it's head to Florida now. Last week, yes. Uh... This, I, <laughs> I dare you to make less sense. I was going to try to work, try to work in some sort of caroler segue here, but nah, man, this is just fucked. This is all kind of fucked. Uh, residents find naked stranger in Gainesville college apartment complex. We'll get there. It's a ride. College students behind bars after two residents who did not know him found the man naked in their apartment. Monday night, Gainesville Police Department officers arrested Alberto Araya, 19, on charges of burglary and multiple counts of property damage. Listen, around 6 p.m., Araya was uh, recorded on security footage damaging the exit sign at the standard apartments. He then entered the apartments of people he didn't know. To a resident's return, they found Araya standing completely naked in their living room. The residents immediately left. Yet, Aurelia left about 15 minutes later, still not wearing any clothes inside the apartment. Hundreds of dollars worth of damage were caused. Here's where we get off, just off the rails. Aurelia claimed he was inside the apartment because he believed his wife was there. He claimed one of the victims was his wife, but was unsure which one. Detectives later determined Aurelia is not married. Okay. S what? We're 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 so far off the rails, man. There are it's, it's there aren't rails anymore. I mean, I think it's obvious he accidentally got slipped in from the hot dog fingers, you know, <laughs> and is very confused. Are we talking a 2D wife? What, his waifu? No, it's not a waifu. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he has, maybe he had one of those, but she wasn't in there. Yeah. This sounds like PCV Angel. This sounds like a dumb motherfucker is what it sounds like. Or, you know, somebody's little reality button glitched. 19? He's on something. There's, there's, there's something. Yeah. Uh, this 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 feels this I I'm gonna say you remember when Johnny Carson used to do that bit the the, the what was his name what was the name he used for that bit I don't know but I mean you remember the, the great something or other no the big net right the the turban on his head be like uh, methamphetamine methamphetamine and methamphetamine pop yeah. open the envelope uh what the fuck was this kid smoking. <laughs> 
Like, Jesus Christ. A fl flutter at her. Honey, I'm home. Oh, right. I'm not married. <laughs> That's a deep cut. Karnak. Karnak. The amazing Karnak. Thank you. Uh, Karnak the Magnificent or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it is. Jesus Christ. Like, but you know, like, I, I can't believe those chicks. If I walked into my house and there was just a naked dude standing there, I would fucking no. leave too. It's like, and I'd be like, you can work that motherfucker out with Simba. That's his luck. <laughs> Did dog damage in the living room and shit? Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Why? Come on. This and this is not one of those. Fucking around, oh, it's a joke kind of. No, 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 no. You're naked in somebody else's house, and you broke their shit. You can go on a list for that shit, the forever list, the bad mm. one. You don't want to be on the bad forever list. It's like worse than the lot naughty list, actually. Yeah, the bad forever list. Like that's that's the. You, you got to go around the neighborhood wherever you move and knock on everybody's door. It's a bad... It, you don't want to be on it. No. No. Amy says, what's your security system? I have an orange cat. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how hard he bites. Well, I... I'm. You're going to hate me for call it, calling it this. Um... This is, uh, I, I guess we would call this a stocking stuffer. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to hell for that one, pretty sure. I'm concerned. You should be. Um, because a lot happened here. Woman accused of hiding stolen $17,000 watch inside herself. A woman, all right, this, there's a, get ready, there, we're going on a ride. We're just. Buckle up. A woman who was in Las Vegas for a court hearing regarding theft charges in June for stealing a $100,000 watch was arrested again for stealing a $17,000 watch and hiding it inside herself. Baltimore woman Sarah Richards, 33, faces charges of theft over $100,000 in value, residential burglary, grant larceny, blah, 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 administering drugs to aid in the commission of a felony. Okay. Security investigator at the hotel told officers a guest had woken up with his, belongings miss with his belongings missing after taking an unknown woman to his room. Alleged victim told police he suspected he had been drugged by the suspect, later Richards, sometime between midnight and 7 a.m. He stole his Patek Philippe wristwatch valued at $150,000. Uh, he said he met Richards that night. They bought a bottle of champagne to drink while gambling. That Richards carried the bottle the entire time, even when it was out of view. Alleged victim uh, recalled the female said she needed help with money, and he offered her fourteen hundred dollars. He tried to receive some retrieve some money from the safe in his hotel room, but couldn't remember the code. Blah 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 blah. He gave her fourteen hundred log. Fell asleep, woke up with his watch missing. So, next day, undercover officer was approached by Richards at a nearby hotel. See, the thing about doing shit at Las Vegas anywhere. Everywhere camera. Yeah. Every, okay. If, unless it is your kink, and it probably shouldn't be, do not fucking public in Las Vegas. You are unintentionally making porn. I feel like if you're fucking in public in Las Vegas, that doesn't bother you. Probably. But, so... So they had her. They'd like, hey, here you are, here you are, here you are, here you are. So they were, she was already booked on grand larceny. So she had to come back from Baltimore for this, for this case, right? When she came back on Monday, Richards was set to appear for her preliminary hearing. However, on Sunday, police responded to another hotel. Caller 291 told authorities a woman later identified as Richards had stolen items from his room, and he could not get them back. Security found Richards, and despite searching her person, could not find a stolen $17,000 wristwatch. The alleged victim told investigators he had met Richards in the hotel, later went to his room to drink wine. He sa she said he should take his Rolex off because, quote, it would cut her. 
Man began to feel tired after Richards insisted he drink more. Richards panicked, left the room, walked down the hall a different gate than before, taking shorter steps now. <laughs> they have her on video. Sort of shuffle every day of shuffling. Weird detail to put in the story. <laughs> When officers checked the room, they did not find the watch, but did find the man's wine glass with a white powdery substance to the bottom. Asked Richards as to why they, the police, would be called the hotel. She insisted she did not have a Rolex. A metal detector wand passed over, kept alarming around her vaginal region. She agreed to take the watch out. She stated they were going to find it anyways in jail. She did not want to go through the hassle. <laughs> The watch was placed in a biohazard bag and it found it. Which it needs to be. <laughs> you couldn't even try, like, oh, that's my IUD. <laughs> like, does copper set off the, like, the old you IUDs used to be. shit about the, the female body. That's true. That might have worked. Men don't know shit about what goes on inside. I, uh, I, hey, I know the fact that IUDs used to be copper. And they yeah. stopped doing that because it was dangerous. They, they got their plastic now. a decent fucking chance of a dude not knowing. That's true. That. That's true. <laughs> but also, maybe don't take random people back to your hotel room and give them $1,400. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... I, mean, I guess if you have it to spare, but like... Yeah, kind of... You, you, you got to learn a little bit about... Being fed, a, yeah, being fed a line, buddy. I mean, it's, it's, but you know, you know what? That's just that's just wild. This dude was willing to happily give her fourteen hundred dollars, no strings attached. And she's like, okay, let's this proceed to the doctor. This is where you have a slight advantage being a woman because women live every minute of every day thinking about how to avoid getting murdered. Right. Man, you don't have to deal with that all the time. No. Like, you don't have to live every minute of every day thinking about not getting murdered. And that's how you wind up in situations like it's this. It's like, oh, because, sure. you know, what could happen? I'll take a total stranger back to my room and I'll open my safe in front of her and I'll drink, you know. Her hold the booze. Let her hold, yeah. No, don't. You learn... You learn before you're even legal to drink when you're a woman that you don't put your fucking drink down. I'll tell you. If you need, if most people need money these days, they'll do a GoFundMe. They're not going up to random people in a fucking casino hotel. Or fucking OnlyFans or whatever. Right. They're not going to a hotel. If you find someone, there's a scam going on. I don't know how you don't know this because you've got a $140,000 watch. Well, no, I think we've, we've just, yeah. no, we've discovered this week. Incredibly rich people are complete yeah. idiots. Like the don't, dumbest people on earth. Don't drink things a stranger gives you. Of the fest. I mean, obviously the exception is the bartender because it is the bartender's job to give you things to drink. It's also in their best interest not to drug you. The festive spruce says, you've heard of Elf on the Chef, uh, Elf on the Shelf. How about Rolex in your whole ass? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and God, that's nothing good ever comes from hiding stolen goods in there. Nothing. Is that it's it, it and like I don't I kind of understand in a panic how it might seem like a good idea in a in a moment of 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 like holy shit, but it's like, not it's not gonna work out. You weren't going straight to the pawn shop. No, you're gonna need, you're gonna need to go home and run that under the sink at least. <laughs> Well, if you run a Rolex, can a Rolex take Wait, water, or are they waterproof? Good question. I don't know. I don't know either. I've never been near a Rolex. If it can take water, can it take being submerged in vaginal fluid? That's another oh, question. Oh, boy. 
I don't know. That's I just I'm loving that they wa- they noticed her walking long strides going in and then <laughs> which by the way, it's time for another sex ed with Tara. <laughs> Something of that size falling back out shouldn't really be a concern. Like, we keep tampons in all day. Yeah. So you might want to see your gyno. (laughs) Unless it was really uncomfortable. I can imagine a metal band wristwatch is really uncomfortable. Yeah, that's that's true. It could have just been... Oh, could you give it? Hey, it would cut her. Have you ever gotten your skin caught? But ah, get out of Oh, 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 oh. I still want to pinch. Oh, oh. First thing we've we've learned a lot this week. We've learned that uh, if someone wants to take you back, what what? Samantha Brown, you have to get out of here. Your <laughs> vagina is ticking. <laughs> Just imagine the whole room gets quiet. There's like soft. <laughs> Where's that coming from? And then the alarm goes off. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, that time of the fun, that's... You know. <laughs> oh. Uh, we, we've learned that strangers in a hotel bar, if they're asking you for thousands of dollars, that's a bad sign. Of course, if you get to a certain level of wealth and you're taken in by that, that I just consider that a function of capitalism and the economy. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> if you have no qualms about going into the safe and pulling out fourteen hundred in cash and handing it, yeah, I mean, it's that's yeah, that's that's we're gonna be fine. That's the circle of life, is how that works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've learned that it, any kind of drug that makes you hallucinate a wife and end up making it a stranger's apartment it's a bad drug. I don't know why we have to tell you this. Stop doing the bad drug. Why would you do... Th- why? It's been years and I have yet to hear an upside. How is that fun? I've never heard... I have never heard a fun meth story. No. I've heard fun drinking stories. I've heard fun weed stories. I have even heard one or two fun cocaine stories. I have never, ever heard a fun meth story. Ever. Ever. We've learned that if you beat the manager at the Little Caesars, you do not become Caesar. That's not how that works. Don't be there is no trail by combat for pizza. Don't don't get taken in by the name, Brutus. Okay, just if there was trial by combat for pizza. I promise you, I would be a fucking UFC champion. Yeah, because that would be worth it to me. You wouldn't be at the Little Caesars, though. You'd be no. over, you'd be over at Godfather's or some shit, you know, the good yeah. shit. Um, <laughs> we've learned that maybe your package is late because of shipping errors. Maybe your package is late because some dumb shit stole the truck. That can happen, apparently. We've learned to not steal Christmas presents from random strangers because one of them might be Robert De Niro and you will sleep with the fishes. You didn't, you, you, you're not a big Supernatural fan, I know. I've watched but back, in season, back in season three, before it all went off the rails, they did an episode about, like, fairy tales gone wrong. And it was all driven by this little girl who was in a coma and was psychically projecting all these twisted fairy tales on the world and like look at the stories this week because we had fucked up jack skellington we did yeah don't steal the thing like double helping a fucked up grinch yes yes and i mean i guess you could argue watch up the hoo-ha chick who's sort of a goldilocks type 
<laughs> this Rolex is just right. <clears throat> uh, I know. I just, yeah. It, it's it, it, a Christmas at RDA. Yeah, it, 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 I, I admire, I admire the, the, the craftsmanship of replacing the baby Jesus with a tombstone. I admire it. That's hilarious. But um, you're still going to jail. Yeah. Like not for some of those reasons, just because that is theft. That is that you 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 pulled a Grinch. You like you're, you know the I you might have issues with the baby Jesus. I I can understand, but uh, he's, he's still going to jail. It's still crime. It may, may be a cool crime, still a crime. But you still can't work at Baskin Robbins. They will find out. <laughs> fucking. You're in a fucking job interview. You're like, uh... That's the wrong play. <laughs> like, the manager's like, yeah, man, write the power. I still can't give you the job. <laughs> Would not work out with our holiday baby Jesus blast. 